Good morning, dear children. We started with the second voyage to 2.1, The Clothesline. In that, I have explained two verses of the poem, The Clothesline. Today, we will go for the next two verses. Once I saw dancing excitedly, struggling so wildly, till she was free. Then, leaving pegs and clothesline behind her, she flew like a bird and no one could find her. This passage is telling us about the poet saw one of the clothes dancing very excitedly, very happily. The poet saw one of the clothes which was dancing very excitedly and it was trying to struggle wildly. Struggle means to come out from that very wildly. Wildly means violently. It was angry and it wanted to come out from there till she was free, till she was free from those pegs. Then she flew off like a bird. Then what happened? When she was struggling very wildly, oh, wildly that is violently, it was free. And then she flew off like a bird in the sky, leaving the pegs and some clothes behind. She left some of the clothes and the pegs. Pegs means clips of wood or plastic to attach wet clothes on the clothesline. No one could find her. No one could find where it flew away. It flew like a bird, so no one could find. Next passage. I saw her gleam like a sail in the sun, flipping and flapping and flopping for fun. Nobody knows where she now can be, hid in a ditch or drowned in the sea. Now the poet saw her shining like a sail in the sun. The poet saw, saw her, it was shining like a sail in the sun, like a boat in the sun. Flapping in fun, it was very happy and, and it was keeping, it was in a funny mood. Nobody knows where now she is, nobody knows where it flew away, whether she is hidden in a ditch or drowned in the sea, whether she is now hi hidden somewhere in a ditch, ditch means you can say a pit at the side of a road. Or drowned in a sea. Or it must have been drowned in a sea. No one knows where it has gone. Next. She was my handkerchief not long ago. But she'll never come back to my pocket. I know. Now what was that which was flo flown away? That was none other but it was her handkerchief. The poet remarks that the piece of cloth was her handkerchief and she knew that it would never come back again to her pocket. That piece of cloth was nothing else but it was her handkerchief and it was not of her now because she knew that it would never come back to her in her pocket. So this poem is describing about the clothes which were hung on the rope and which were that clothes which one of the clothes was trying or struggling hard to come out from the pegs and it wanted to flew or fly away from there. But that was none other thing. It was the poetess handkerchief. So I explained this all the whole poem. We'll go for question answers tomorrow. Till that time you read the poem. Thank you. Have a great day and write it in your notebook.